All right, we're back for AP Physics 2 training. Uh, part B of this module is going to be on labs dealing with diffraction. This is the only module that only has two parts. Physical optics doesn't show up very much on the AP exam for Physics 2. At least we haven't seen it yet. But diffraction of electrons has shown up twice. So please do diffraction with your kids with light so that they can understand diffraction with electrons. OK, yeah. You know who I am. Okay, uh, Wavelength the Red Light Lab is one of the first things I do with my students after teaching them about diffraction and interference of light through slits. So now I've already taught them about diffraction and interference. I'm going to test their understanding using the Wavelength the Red Light Lab. Red laser, dollar at Dollar Tree. Get it. Uh, check out aisles. Um, a slit film demonstrator is what it's called. And I bought several of these back um, about 10 years ago. And back Back at that time, I can't even remember where I got them from, but I had to pay $20 a piece for them. And I bought 10, and so that was a pretty penny. You know, you can do the multiplication on that. I can't find them anywhere. I can only at this point find them as part of a $90 optics kit from Ward Science. That's the part number. That's the only place I can find it on the internet. Or you know what? You could just not get that and get cheapo things called rainbow peepholes. Yeah, that's what they're called. I know, it's kind of funny. Um, from a website called diffractiongrading.com. You can also get them off of Amazon or other places. Um, give your students a meter stick or two and give them a note card or a screen they're going to shine their diffraction pattern on. Okay, so what's the procedure? They're going to shine the laser at the screen or note card through the diffraction grating or the rainbow peepholes. They're going to measure the distance from the grating to the screen and they're going to measure distances from the central bright maximum to one of the other uh, maximums on the side. And I asked my students to vary something in this procedure. So what are they allowed to vary. They can vary the slit screen distance. I asked them to do three trials. They can vary how many orders of maxima they go over. Do they go over one? Do they go over two? Do they go over three? Maxima from the center. They're allowed to vary. They have to vary something and do three trials with it for me. And they have to make a graph that is a line. So they have to vary something, make a graph that's a line, and use the slope in order to get the wavelength of red light. Okay, so I'm going to show you this lab. I'm going to show you the two variations right now up here on the screen. I hope that the lighting effects work.